Roy Disney, I think you had that figured out. <laughs> and it's my privilege to welcome you to this celebration of a new year, a new century, a new millennium, but most of all, a new Fantasia. After all, until now, there have been countless years, many centuries, more than a few millennia, at least if you're on the Chinese calendar, and this is only the second Fantasia. It's been more than 60 years since I first heard Walt talk about his vision for a concert film that would blend classical music, animation, and technical virtuosity into a mix that would become almost an art form of its own. His vision resulted in the first Fantasia. The creation of this new Fantasia has been a great thrill for me. Of course, it was the chance to carry on Walt's bold experiment, but it was also the opportunity to give a new generation of Disney filmmakers and artists the opportunity to express their personal visions. I'm enormously proud of their achievements. Fantasia 2000 has literally been on the drawing boards for nine years, and it reflects the artistic passion and innovation of all of the 1,500 members of Disney Feature Animation who were part of it as well as Maestro James Levine and the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Tonight's special screening features a performance by the really marvelous and some of our best friends, believe me, the Philharmonia Orchestra of London. You'll also... <laughs> You'll also hear two of our generation's finest pianists Yafim Bronchman and Ralph Grissom. And in keeping with Walt's original notion for his concert feature, what you'll be hearing tonight is exactly that, a concert, without the interstitial material that weaves throughout the movie when it's a movie. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the man who will conduct us into a new century, and I believe a new era of animation, Maestro Derek Inouye. 